Hey guys, just a quick update about my um, D700 body that um, died the other day. Um, just to catch you up from the last video, um, I sent the camera off to Nikon um, straight to their customer service manager and um, you were in email contact for a few days and then um, I had an email from him on um, must have been Thursday last week um, asking for my phone number so he could ring me and um, so I sent him that and not long after he rang me and basically he said that his technician had looked at the camera and deducted that a lens had been stuck on the body and removed now I'd already told him this in my initial email um, so I kind of said well yeah I told you that already and he said as a result of this it's user error and therefore you're liable for the costs because the camera's out of warranty anyway um, but even if it was in warranty they consider um, a lens getting stuck on the camera um, user error and obviously I was a bit annoyed at this um, I've been using DSLR for 10 years I've been using Nikon pretty much all that time and I know how to mount and unmount a, a lens properly and I asked him exactly how this could be user error and he couldn't really answer it and I said well I'm not happy about this and can you go back to your technician and sort of ask him again he, which he did um, that was on yeah Thursday I think um, so I hadn't heard anything until today um, he rang me today and all he said was what lens was it that got stuck on the body and I said it was my 16 to 35 f4 VR and he said oh I'll ring you back in five minutes which he did he rang me five minutes later and said um, have you got the lens handy have you got it with you and I kind of said yeah sort of because I'd actually discovered on Sunday that the aperture lever on the lens was actually bent and broken and it wasn't moving the aperture so I thought rather than send that off to Nikon as well I was going to send that off to another repair shop and just pay for it and just get it over and done with um, so it was all boxed out ready to go and I was on the phone to him trying to desperately open this box to get the lens back out and he said um, just have a look at the lens for me on the back on the lens mount um, just below the plastic bit where the lens contacts are there's like a sort of a metal ring with screws around it it's about four or five screws and you can see the screw heads and he said there should be one screw that's the other way around that pokes out so you can sort of see the not the screw head end the other end of the screw and I said there's nothing like that on this lens there's a small hole next to one of the other screws but there's no screw coming through and he said, ah, this is your problem. They've had this problem before with this lens, only this lens, uh, the 16-35. to 35. Um, Basically, this screw pokes out through um, the rear of the lens um, mount. And that screw alone stops the lens from twisting all the way around on the body. One tiny little screw. And if that's broken or is missing or whatever, that causes the lens to twist the wrong way, basically. And in doing so, the lens contacts touch the camera body contacts in the wrong order, which sends current around the wrong way and which basically just fries everything, which is sort of what happened to me. It makes sense, the way that my camera just died. So he said, um, box the lens up, it already was, um, and send it to us. We'll check it. We'll make sure that this screw's missing. If it is that, we'll repair both the camera and the lens free of charge. Um, even if they're out of warranty so I'm hoping that they will find this little screw missing I'm sure it is I've checked every picture I can find of this lens I've asked several other people I know with this lens to check theirs to see if it's got this little screw poking out they've said it has mine definitely doesn't um, so yeah it looks like good news if you can call it that I mean I'm still cameraless and I'm still one of my lenses is still broken but it's going off to Nikon tomorrow and hopefully it'll all be fit free of charge so I'll have a nice um, fully working lens and fully working body back by next week hopefully. Um, it's actually a bank holiday, uh, sort of a, I don't know if you get them in the USA but it's basically a day off um, next Monday, the whole country kind of has a day off um, so 
that's going to be another day gone. Um, he said he'd try and get it back to me before Friday, but I don't think that's going to happen now because it's um, Tuesday tomorrow before I can post it. So it'll be Wednesday by the time he gets it, and there's no way they're going to fix it and post it back for Friday. So it's probably going to be Tuesday or Wednesday next week. I get it all back. If, big if, they find that it was this little screw that's caused all the problems. So yeah, that's just a little update for you. Um, if you have this lens, Nikon 16-35 to f4 VR, check it. Please, God, check it. Because if you have the same problem, um, it took me a little bit of a fight to get them to admit that this was their fault. If I'd have just let it go at the first hurdle, I'd have been paying probably about five or six hundred pounds to get both the lens and the body repaired. Um, if I hadn't have sort of said, check it again, then he wouldn't have come back with this information. So if you've got that lens, check it around. Beneath the um, contacts, where on the plastic, black plastic bit beneath there, check that ring all the way around and see if you've got a screw poking out the wrong way. If you've got a hole, don't mount the lens on the body. Contact your retailer or contact Nick on direct. Send it off to them and get it fixed. Um, they know it's an issue. This, after Googling a little bit now, I found a few reports of it around um, on DP Review. There's a couple on there. So it's a known issue, and he obviously knew about it on the phone. Um, which is why he asked me what lens it was, and as soon as I said, he was like, yeah, okay, that's our fault. So yeah, that's it. Um, I can't wait to get the camera back, and I'll do some more videos for you once I've got everything back. So, see you guys, have a good one.